Welcome everyone, I'm Adriana and in today's video Leonardo is going to explore how to deal with this iPhone 12 that has suffered water damage. It's a common problem that all of us who work in mobile repairs workshop face it and we want to show you the necessary steps to effectively solve it. We will also discuss about the prices we apply in these cases. As the first step in all iPhone models, we need to remove the two Torx screws located at the bottom part of the device. For this, we'll use a precision screwdriver from the well-known brand Kianli. The next step is to heat the edges of the chassis to 150 Celsius degrees with the hot air station. By doing this, we soften the adhesive that holds the screen to the chassis make it easier to remove later. Now we use a suction cup to create a small space and with an ultra thin pick we proceed to remove the screen. With the gap created we can switch to a more durable plastic pick to cut the rest of the adhesive that holds the screen to the chassis. We arrive at the most crucial step in this entire process, the visual inspection of the motherboard and its surroundings. This humidity sticker, for example, shows small signs of water contact, which we need to take into account. Up here in the camera area, the corrosion is noticeably more severe. Beneath this flex, the humidity sticker has changed color from white to red, indicating that the device has been in contact with liquid. Every water damage device is a unique case, but by mastering these repair techniques, you can solve all the problems. Having identified the areas affected by liquid, we proceed to remove the motherboard. This involves removing all the screws and the flexes from the motherboard. These two connectors show high corrosion, which suggests that the screen may be damaged. It's important to remember these details as they will help us to understand how far the humidity has reached inside the device and will allow us to shorten the repair time. We continue with the visual inspection under the microscope. Observe, these connectors are burned. If you are a mobile repair technician, it's essential to have a good microscope. You can start with the cheap one and once you've made some money, invest in a higher quality model. I'll try to put some purchase links in the description of this video. I started with a binocular microscope from the Motic brand while working for a company I was dedicating my free time to repairs. Nowadays it's a common that you need to sacrifice your free time to invest in your training, all through not everyone is willing to do it. Everyone has their principles. We continue the disassembly process in fast camera because time is money. To 
to remove the iPhone 12's motherboard, we need to remove the battery. Under the motherboard, there is a flex soldered just below, making the task more complex. Increasingly, Apple engineers are making this process more complicated. In conclusion, repairs become more expensive due to the required time. Here's the flex we want to be careful with. It's located just below the motherboard and extends towards one side of the chassis. To soften the adhesive, we can use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Then, to free the flex, we need to remove the free screws and the protective shield. Now, we use precision tweezers to lever this small connector. Finally, we've got our motherboard out of the chassis. To have full control of the connector, we are going to cut this foam tape that serves as a protective function. We start the process with a preliminary cleaning to remove all the rust and dirt from the connector. For this, we use a piece of cotton and contact cleaner. All through, the isopropyl alcohol can also be used. Using the blade number 11 of the scalpel, we cut the resin around. In this way, we can easily solder the burned pins. To restore these pads, we use solder paste and the fine tip of the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees.
since this is an area that has been in contact with liquid, it will take us a little bit of time to solder these pins. I only recommend patience. Gradually the solder will adhere to the pads. To improve our soldering we can use a little bit of flux. The final step is to remove all the excess flux and to clean the area well. Now we are going to assemble the motherboard and the screen. We won't take long, we'll use the fast camera. For beginners, here's a tip. In a neighborhood shop, in 85% of repairs, we don't need to know anything about electronics. Just have some logic and start practicing on dead or broken motherboards. A broken iPhone motherboard in China costs between 5 and 15 euros depending on each model. I'll try to put some sales links in the description of this video so you can start practicing. Doing soldering, restoring pads and replacing integrated circuits. Lastly, we put in the battery so we can turn on the device. At last, now we can see the logo on the screen. Now we are going to wait and see if the operating system loads. It seems that the device turns on perfectly. Now we need to do the necessary tests. In this particular case, we are going to charge to our customer the price of the screen and do it for free the cleaning process. As it's a pretty expensive screen, it's preferable to do it in this way. Guys, we want to thank you for watching us. He is Leonardo. This was the repair of the water damaged iPhone 12. We hope you've learned some tricks because this is how we work in our workshop. Hope to see you soon. Until next time, bye bye. Yeah, that's right.